welcome back to Studio Lou, it's Cindy. So today I'm back with my design team project for Release the Craft In for March. This is a journal that I did um, with her kit, Ladies Entomology. So during this um, video, I will only be uh, talking about the items that are from her kit. The rest of the items I won't specifically be addressing other than to say like, I made this, I made that. Um, <clears throat> she was kind enough and wonderful enough to um, give me this kit to be able to make this journal and I'm very thankful because I absolutely love her design work so shall we so this journal has been created inside um, an old book a very early 1900s book it had this um, gilding on the front already I didn't do a whole lot to this beautiful brown book cloth I just kind of left it um, <clears throat> the Luna moth on the front um, this green fabric I had in my stash and then I basically hand painted all of the details of the Luna Moth on the wings and then I created from a white fur um, the body of the Luna Moth and then I embroidered on the the body the parts of the Luna Moth that um, kind of come down the back. Then beneath that there is this organza embroidered fabric that I then used a bunch of different patina pastes on to just patina it and it wraps around from the front to the back it has beautiful details it has a really nice texture um it's a silk organza and then my little studio Lou stamp is down here and it's in sort of a bunch of different sort of the same colors of wax so this is what the top of the journal looks like it has six signatures um, and it is the closure is this silk organza uh, tie it has a book label on front the label is removable um, the label itself is actually made from one of the little um, I call them swipes um, Priscilla includes these really cool pieces of ephemera that are like little mini backgrounds some have images on them and some don't so you can fully customize them so I actually just cut a label out of one of them because the color went so well um, <clears throat> this is actually an early 1900s brass um, label plate so let's jump into this book. So one of the other things that I did make use of when making this book um, was that I had um, an old actual entomology um, study book from probably the 70s. It belonged to a woman who was studying entomology. And this is the cover of the book. Um, and I made a pocket of it um, from it right here on the front. And this background, um, funny enough, I have a large format uh, printer and sometimes I print things on there and I sort of accidentally printed the kit, parts of the kit on here. Um, and so this is actually this page, but blown up in large format. And I thought it would just be a really nice end paper. <laughs> so the whole journal has been bound with the same silk organza on the inside. And then this is um, an envelope um, that is from Priscilla's kit and you open it on up and inside is a journal card that's actually another image from the kit and that just pops right on inside there and then that just tucks right on in the pocket <clears throat> and then this first page is also from the kit beautiful butterflies and flowers and I just backed it with um, some of this really interesting lined green paper. It's this large format paper. I don't know what it was used for, maybe record printing, but it's really cool. And we just have a moth's head there. This is coffee dyed paper that I, that I made. Um, <clears throat> this is from Priscilla's kit, these lovely yellow flowers on some coffee dyed crinkly paper. And then I just stitched some nice um, lace and some really beautiful stitches on the side. And on the back, um, this is one of my watercolor papers that I just kind of played with watercolors and added this moth. This is one of those swipes that I had mentioned and it's on Easter egg dyed paper. I'm not sure if you can see the hue, but it has like a very light kind of bluish hue with little bits of brown. It was tea and Easter egg dye. And on this side, this is one of the sort of round, um, not swipes, but she does like ink blots um, with different colors. And, and they're, they're also like, they have impressions of numbers in them and this beautiful bee. 
And this is my coffee dyed doily paper. And then this is from the kit, just a beautiful picture of bees and this little family here and some amazing flowers, a very multi-layered, like with a lot of her stuff, very multi-layered. Um, and then this page is um, covered in this like incredible brown crepe paper and it has these four bugs underneath. And that's the other side of the page from the kit. More of the coffee dye doily paper. And then this is one of the tickets from the kit. Um, I just pasted it down there. I, I tend to use tickets in a bunch of different ways. Sometimes I do use them to tuck into things, but I also really just like using them as ephemera that you can actually just stick down on a page as a piece of decoration, kind of like this large bug. Um, and then on this side, um, there's another ticket that's been stuck down. That's from the kit. And then this is a tag that is from the kit. And it is tucked into um, a tea dyed, um, hexagon that's made from cotton that I got actually thrifting or antique shopping this week and um, this lovely little beetle on top. This is more watercolor painting that I did with this beetle. This is from the kit, this lovely cicada up top and more coffee dyed paper and this is a large beetle at the bottom on more of that large um, record keeping um, paper that's been all um, inked up and it has some of the index of the um, the entomology book both of these pages are from the kit and we're at the end of the first signature starting the second signature i typically like to start my signatures with the actual kit pages because it takes you coherently through the theme so i really love the dragonfly and these large flowers um, and then this one because it was made to look like an envelope i added um, a stamp a wax seal here and hopefully you can see that it's a bee um, then on this side there's just some um, paper with some thistles on it and some coffee dyed paper and then this is a little um, flip out from the kit you could also use this as a pocket if you wanted to but it does have a tab to be a flip out and then throughout this journal um, I took some vintage German book um, this field guide pages and I just backed them in like coffee dyed tea dyed paper um, so they make journaling cards and they are tucked all throughout this book I think there's about six of them um, this is a beautiful page from the kit with this lovely bug and then on this side we have um, some yellow inking and some butterflies and then this lovely kind of sparkly yellow um, trim here and then this is an over the page um this is just journaling paper on the back and it has um this bug here and then some nice leafy stitching on the side and on this side this is actually an altered paper clip so this whole thing pulls off the top and that's what holds it on this is a beautiful page from the kit i'll just bring it up so that you can see some of the details very pretty Then on this side we have um, some nice open uh, wool lace that is uh, made a pocket out of and there's a few things inside of here so first I'll pull everything out and this is some more page from that um, entomology textbook then inside we have another of those field guide German field guide pages and then this is just a journal card that I made um, this is from actually a different kit um, of Priscilla's and then this is like a little envelope um, inside of it I just tucked this other little piece from the kit she always gives these really nice little like kind of they almost look like a piece of a torn letter or something and um, you could do a lot of things with them you could use them as like a tag you could tuck them into a pocket you could actually glue them down use them as a tuck spot in this case I just chose to tuck this into this open envelope as though you know it was something that she could quickly pull out and then stick into the envelope and then decide if she wanted to write more things on it later so then all of these just tuck on in here And then these, you'll see a few of these pages throughout the book. Um, they are beautiful and they are from an international butterfly book. Um, and then this is another page with just some botanicals on it. 
And this side, um, I did a bunch of um, um, stenciling, and then I added these big bees. They were from a book, and uh, this page was also from a book. And then more botanicals and um, a large butterfly from that same book. And then here we have um, another altered paper clip, and it's actually made from a piece of the kit. A couple of these lovely little round tags do come with the kit, and that's another page of the International Butterfly book. I'll just kind of tilt it because I know the glare can be a little bit much sometimes on the shiny paper. And then this is just a large collage tag that I made um, that has a couple of insects here and lots of botanicals, and it has avocado dyed paper on the back. And that just goes here and we just clip it back on and this is another of those um, pages from the vintage entomology book and um, this is a page from the kit really beautiful green theme to it and then just an Easter egg dyed um, page with some stitching of leaves and on this side we have, um, this is actually coffee dyed black and white map that's been collaged with this beautiful butterfly and some more of that sparkling uh, trim. And then this is all entirely from the kit, the page, the pocket, and the tag. And I really love this tag. I think it's beautiful. I think it's an amazing caterpillar. And it definitely reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful image and coffee dyed paper and some botanical paper. Um, on this side we have, let me just pull this off and show them to you. Both of these are pages from the kit and we're at the end of the second signature now. Um, then clipped on here we have another altered paper clip that's been made from actually one of the tickets that's from the kit. So it's this butterfly ticket. Um, and then this is a large journal card that I made with some butterflies and some vintage stamps. And there is um, some lace that has actually, nope, that's the next page. <laughs> We're getting there. There's some lace visible on this page. Um, so then when you flip it over, this section of butterflies is actually a tuck spot. Um, and it has some nice stenciling behind it. And then there's two things in there. Another one of those vintage German um, field guide pages. So that just tucks in there. And then this is a journaling card from the kit. And then this is just a botanical page with some nice lace sewn on. And some more st um, stenciling and just some uh, vintage botanical image that I've added there. This is a page from the kit. Um, it's really nice. It's got sort of like a transparency to it and a little bee up here. And then this is a stamped and inked um, moth. And then on this page, this is actually um, jelly printed and collage. That's one of my jelly prints. And um, this is an altered paper clip with a dragonfly um, that just holds on this journal card. I'll just pull it off so you can see. There's a couple more of those bugs from the entomology book. Um, then on this side, we have this little organza tuck this is the same fabric as is on the cover of the book um, and there's a little moth hiding under there there's stenciling in the background another of those german field guide pages and this is just a um, a journal card that i made it's collaged and has once upon a time and a little bug there and just some fun collaging and then this is another page from the kit um, and this beautiful image. Let me just bring this up so that you can see some of the details. And I love these flowers. I just love the colors. Um, and then this is just some botanical paper and some coffee dyed paper. And then this is tea dyed lace, that uh, crochet lace. And I've actually glued it on top of um, a page from the kit with these beautiful flowers and music. And there's a little, a little bug hanging out down here. And inside there is an envelope that's from the kit. And I've added some like travel washi tape to the sides. Um, and inside is another little card from the kit. It has a bee and a flower very pretty so that just pops on inside there 
and tuck straight on in here. And then this is a collaged um, page made with avocado dyed paper that had previously been written on in pen. So the whole thing kind of washed out beautifully when I, when I dyed it. Um, and then we have this little image. These are both um, an Im image and a description from the vintage entomology book. Another page of the International Butterflies book. Beautiful butterflies. More of that same kind of collaging and some bugs. And then this is another page from the kit with a pocket from the kit, as well as um, two tags, both of which are from the kit. And they just pop right on in there. Coffee dyed paper, just a botanical page. This is a page from the kit. Um, and then this is more of that beautiful organza and this large bug here and they're stenciling in the background. That's one of my jelly prints and then another collage page with this lovely big bug. Uh, this is a page from the kit, these bees. This is some stenciling and some um, vintage book um, botanical. And then um, this side we have a tuck. Um, so this is just a botanical page. This here is from the kit. It's like um, like a like a billfold pocket or a, like a coin pocket, but I used it as a tuck. So it has like a little divot right there. Um, and then this is one of the large tags from the kit. I love these. It has, I believe, a stag beetle or a rhinoceros beetle on it, and this beautiful flower. And it just tucks on in there and then I added another um, little tag this is also from the kit has some cute little mushrooms there and I added birch bark as the top of the tag not just tucks in there too and then over here we have the life cycle of Parnassius ever smammy smanny sorry <laughs> Um, and it's lowland butterflies. So it talks about the life cycle of the butterfly. I've done some stamp, uh, stamping, not stamping, stenciling back here. Um, just, I wanted to put a little bit of like entomology knowledge in here for the fun of it. And then let me just take this off. Um, so both of these pages are from the kit and we're now at the end of the third signature. And this is a large journaling card with some nice brown paper on the back as well as an altered paper clip that clips over. And this is, um, I believe, an ant wasp. And that just goes right on top up here. Actually, let's do this there and I can see where I'm putting this guy. Um, and on this side we have some nice handmade paper and some ledger and then another one of those um, German field guide journal cards. This is another page from the kit. So it's a spider web with this nice um, light image of a spider and some pearls going down it and just beautiful background. And then on this side I did some um, inking and I added a cabbage dyed um, paper doily down on top so it's really nice color texture be really nice to write on this is a paper sack that i've stitched top and bottom um and this is one of those beautiful swipes from the kit that um released the craft and adds to her kits and in here we have a journal card this is also from the kit lovely image Another thing I should mention is that if there's some things that interest you and others that don't, um, the kits are broken up into two or three um, pieces. So like if you like, you know, the the pages, but you don't need the ephemera. So like she's got, um, I think there's probably three, possibly two. Um, you'll see in her shop, which I will link in the description box. Um, this is another one of those beautiful little sort of blots that she, she creates with the images on them. And then this is another page from the kit. A nice bulb here and this little beetle. And some stenciling. Also, I believe I looked at her shop maybe this morning and I think she's actually running a sale. So you might wanna check it out. Um, coffee dyed paper. And then this is a fabric pocket where I've added one of her swipes there with this beetle on it. 
and it is on top of the page from the kit actually let me just pull these guys out so that's another beautiful page from the kit and I put a couple things in here so one is a full page from that amazing entomology book um, that I was that I was using in this so it's got some pencil writing on it from the student who was doing the studying and some highlighting on the back about this family chrysomelidae Chrysomel leaf beetles um, and then it has one of the tags from the kit and I just created a little topper with some circles there so those both just tuck on in this fabric tuck and then on this side we have some incredible iridescent butterflies from the international butterfly book I'll just bring it up and tilt it so that you can get rid of the glare and see the actual detail of the butterflies better because the colors are amazing and then I've just done some um, stamping of these large kind of square blocks of green. This is a botanical page with some thistles. More bugs from the entomology book. Uh, this beautiful moth down here is from a different bug book. Botanical page. Um, more of the inking. And this is a swipe from the kit. So the green ink blot is from the kit. And I added this butterfly on top. It was cut out from that butterfly book. And then here we have, um, this is a page from the kit, these amazing butterflies, florals, and there is crocheted lace in the background. And this is a grungy fun piece of coffee dyed paper. Um, and then I've done an altered paper clip with a piece of the kit as well, this little coin sized kind of image. And then I added um, this, it's from a, sort of a nature knowledge book and it covers snail shell patterns um and on this side it's like how to make like um how to attract bees and kind of study bees and um this is making a nest box for bees and wasps and it gives you all of the instructions to do that so which is actually important work if you are up for the challenge We've, we have a couple in our backyard and they, are, they make a big difference, especially the carpenter bee boxes. There's lots of carpenter bees that come around. Um, and then this is a swipe from the kit with this lovely green fly on it. And another swipe from the kit with a cicada. Here I've done some stenciling, this yellow. Hopefully you can see that it's not too washed out in this light. Um, and this is a page from the kit as well. And then we have a sack over here. Um, this is the closed end of the sack and I've added a little mushroom and uh, a butterfly. And on this side, this is a little page from the kit, a little piece of ephemera. These are those little kind of torn letter style pieces of ephemera. And then inside the bag itself, there is a little tag also from the kit. And that just tucks on in this side of the bag get it in there properly here tuck, tuck, tuck. there we go and then on the back is another one of those red ink blots and I've added a red butterfly to go with it this is another of those coffee or cabbage dyed um, paper doilies and the other side of that spider and pearls a piece of ledger this is handmade paper and both of these pages are from the kit and we've now reached the end of the fourth signature and starting the fifth. This is um, some nice stitching along the side with some ribbon. On this side we have a belly band that's been made from um, one of the ink blocks from the kit in the middle of this. This is more of that large format print of the kit paper and a butterfly on the front. And this is a tag from the kit. I love the color of the wings and it just tucks right into the belly band here. Um, and then that's also a swipe from the kit with that lovely fly on it. I believe it's a damselfly. Um, and then this is an ink blot from the kit with the butterfly on it. So that's from the kit exactly like that. Then I just back it with a bit of book page because I like having a little bit of book page showing around the edges. 
Um, so underneath there is this beautiful page from the kit. And then I've done this large tag that I made that has a little image here um, of a bug and a ticket. I think this is actually from another kit from Release the Craft and both of these pieces actually I think are. Um, I tend to typically print more than I need and um, this has been collaged front and back. It's a nice gold. Um, so we'll just tuck that back on. And on this side we have some vellum mushroom stamps and this is a Zimbabwe stamp with a little um, like a damselfly on it on some um, book page and then there's some leaves here. They're real leaves that have been glued down and this is coffee dyed paper. This is um, from the kit as well both the page as well as the flip out. This has been stenciled and this is some cabbage dyed dotted paper with a blue butterfly. Just kind of fun to have the torn up notebook paper at the side. This is just a botanical page. On this side we have um, avocado dyed paper, cabbage dyed lace, some uh, vintage wallpaper. It's all just collage with a bug and then this is a quote from the kit. It says, be a girl with adventure, a lady with confidence and a woman with bravery. This is some really fun coffee dyed paper. And then on the back, um, this paper is really grungy and fun. This is an altered paper clip made from the kit. That is an image exactly as is in the kit. And then this is a journaling card that I collaged um, with a Luna moth on the front. This is a page from the kit as well and a fabric floral pocket on some really fun small small graph paper and then this is a tag from the kit i added the mushroom and the topper and then there's some fabric here with some nice uh, leafy stitching another page from the kit and another grungy coffee dyed piece of paper this is a swipe from the kit and just a little um that's an image from the german um field guide some kind of a water bug more coffee dyed paper um, more of the collage um, with this um, scarab beetle name and another quote from the kit from queen victoria we will not have failure only success and new learning a botanical page, a stencil page um, with butterfly wings and some paper kind of down the middle to make the body. That's a beautiful page from the kit with that lovely big caterpillar on it. Coffee dyed paper. This is some handmade leaf paper and then I made this label myself. It says travel a long way. This is a page from the kit. This is just a little collage of book page with a butterfly on Easter egg dyed paper. This is just a posted stamp marked um, kind of page. Both of these pages are from the kit. This one has some crocheted lace stitched down the side. This is a collaged um, napkin, coffee dyed paper. That's a beautiful page from the kit. Um, gra large grasshopper. This is some cabbage and coffee dyed table record keeping paper. Very fun, very grungy. Um, and then this is a page from the kit. These beautiful insects and some orchids and a frame. This has been stenciled with yellow honeycomb. Hopefully you can see it. I know the light can sometimes wash out that, that amber yellow ink. Uh, this is cabbage dyed dotted paper. It's watercolor paper. This is vintage wallpaper. Uh, this is a beautiful, super colorful image from a nature book. Um, I just loved it and thought it would be nice in here. And then to contrast, um, there's this big, beautiful tag and an altered paper clip from the etymology book. This tag is from the kit. That's one of the things that I love about Release the, Cap the Crafted's kit. So she creates these really nice big tags. Um, so yeah, the back is coffee dyed and inked up paper. And then this is another page from the International Butterfly Book. And that just tucks right in there. 
more beautiful butterflies. This is um, my jelly print digital and some stamping. More amazing butterflies. Then this is like a large um, envelope pocket um, from the kit. Now I think this is designed to be used as a long kind of billfold pocket and then this would be the top to fold down but I wanted to use it as this really big um, envelope because I just I like having big things like that especially on pages that I need to cover up text and then inside is this lovely uh, journal card from the kit and so that just pops right on inside here maybe or it goes this way <laughs> sorry that's the right way I like to leave them just sticking out a little so you know that they're in there um, this is the other side of that incredible super bright beautiful um, nature page it's got this lovely thistle and a honeybee scarab beetle this is vintage wallpaper cabbage dyed dotted paper more of the yellow stenciling that might be washing out in the light um, this is a large page from the kit and another of those cabbage and coffee dyed table pages. This is just a collage page on avocado paper with some fun patterns. I've added this beetle to this piece of black framed paper and inside it's a flip up that you can write more journaling space. This is just a beautiful page from the kit with that lovely bug with the pink wings. This is just a grungy coffee dyed page with a coffee dyed, um, laced oily on top and then this is actually an old family record um print and i was going to add some bugs there and make like a family um of bugs but i decided to actually just leave it blank because you could do that or you could add your own kind of family record images or you could draw or write there i just thought i would leave it flexible and then this is the last page of the journal and it is also a page from the kit so this lovely um lady and these beautiful flowers um she's kind of like the entomologist that i have in my in my brain and then this is some amazing um fabric that has been um batiked and let me just pull all the stuff out of this back here there's quite a few things in here so this is another page from the kit that's been printed on my large format printer then inside the pocket we have this um, double-sided image so on this side we have it's a beautiful illustration it has this lovely moth and flowers and on the back there's this large spider and so that tucks in there um, then we have another of the German field guide pages, big journaling card. Um, then this is something kind of special and fun. So it is the story of the ant lion by J.H. Farb, uh, the insects Homer, uh, painting and drawing by E.J. Detmold. So there's this lovely um, ant lion image here. Um, so this is an amazing story about an ant lion. Um, it has that same ant lion image. It's a, it's four pages of story, and we have these dragonflies on the back, and then at the very back we have the ant lion. Um, it was painted for Princess Mary's gift book by E.J. Detmold. So this came out of a book called like Princess Mary's Gift Book, and so it was a book that you could purchase to support charity that like the royals. Um, had kind of sponsored and so it's a pretty fun piece um then we have just the note from me the bookmaker and i pop that in there so to tell you a little bit about my journals and what junk journals are and then this is just the last little piece from the kit it's a tag and i added one of those bugs from the entomology book and some nice ribbon and it just tucks in there to be pretty and there we go we reached the end of this ladies entomology journal so I am very excited about this journal. I love it very much. I think that these journals that I do for these um, these design team projects, I think I put a little bit of extra love into them because I really want to say thank you to those who give me a chance to do some design um, work for them and to show them my translation of their design work. Um, and I really want to thank Priscilla for taking a chance on me. I'm still a smaller, growing YouTube channel, um, but I am having a lot of fun with this. And so I'm really happy to be able to do this. Um, so thank you everyone so much 
page and please check out Release the Crafton on Etsy. I will post the links below in my description box on YouTube and um, all of my social media information will also be there. So I hope you have a really lovely day and thank you so much for joining me for this fun journal. Thank you.